Hi guys, it's Peggy from the Paper Bumblebee. Oh my goodness, what an enormous roller coaster ride it was yesterday and the day before. It was wonderful. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. I wanted to thank Barbara so, so much. Barbara, thank you so much for doing this with me. I had loads of fun. I hope you did too. Then secondly, I want to thank all of you, you guys, for all your love and your support. I really appreciate it. Wow, wow, wow. You guys, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Just stop. Okay, you guys, I want to do a altering a card of, of uh, my deck cards, this one. I'm gonna use some heavy gesso black uh, black from Art Basics. I just got this and I'm just in love. Then I've got uh, the Gilding Max, the Golden Amber, uh, Goose Goosa Crafts. Really love that as well. Then I've got some I don't know if I'm going to use this. This is a print, uh, printout for uh, one of uh, Barbara's, 49 Dragonflies. I've got a black piece of lace, some black buttons, and some gears, and a little piece of a clock. You can see. So what I'm going to do is, like I always do, oh, and a sanding block. I'm going to sand down the back of the card. I already started just so that the shine I don't like the shine it's want to take a, a little bit off but it don't have to be too much for I'm gonna put some gesso on top as well so I'm just gonna take an old brush um, it's wet so I'm just gonna dry this and I just want to dry brush some black gesso on here See if that will work yeah this guys this is so nice it dries up so matte Barbara you're gonna love this as well you love the matte gessos and all that kind of stuff so this is right up your alley I think Just just so that up. Most of the time I just use my finger, but I thought maybe I can use a brush this time and have a look at what the effect is. As you can see, it's not really nice. You get all those brush marks. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger as well. Then you get a much smoother uh, effect and you've got more control. That's the whole thing here. Okay. Just gonna dry that. Okay, so I dried this, sort of. It's not completely dry yet, so. Then what I want to use is my gilding wax. Also with my finger. And it will, uh, you can, will, I will be able to see the embossing that you did when you go with over with the gilding wax and that's a really cool effect to see come to life Oops, you see that wasn't dry. So then you can rub it off. That's not what I wanted. We can fix that. Put some extra gold. Okay, just do the the edges as well. Okay, let's 
little spot there so I'm just going to put some gesso on that little spot there cover it up okay I'm just going to dry that again okay so that's dry just put some gold on there as well again Now I saw Barbara using some gears and I thought that's a great idea. I'm going to use that as well and try. But I want to do a twist to it and just use, uh, I want to make a sort of a clock but then it has to be moving. And I don't know if that will work. Let me see, I think in here, just make a little hole. Mm. I don't have to you, you shouldn't do the hole make the hole too big it has to be quite uh, sturdy on in the on there okay there you go oh, I'm full of gold I'm glittery okay then um, let me see some more Okay, maybe one there. Okay. Loads of rivets. For otherwise it won't work. And I love this one if you see this all little hearts on there. To see if this will fit. No. Maybe it has to be the big one. This will fit in there, but will the little teeth hook on there? Mm, I don't think so. How about the small one? No, I'm just gonna fetch some more. Okay, I found this one. The hole, the middle, middle hole is just a bit bigger, so this will fit through there. Okay, where will I put it? Um, over there. Okay. Make sure that the the little teeth fit into each other. Otherwise it won't turn. Okay, another rivet in there. Okay, let's see. Eh, too far away. Uh, oh wait, this one is... Okay. This will turn. a bit too far from each other but if you press them together they work so that's fine and this one is if when you when you turn this one you see the hole isn't in the center that's why it doesn't work the way I want to oh well never mind but it's still I still like it and you can turn the little little hands okay so that's fine then what I want to do see was something else I thought maybe this will be nice well this is also uh, with a gear on but now I don't I'm not sure maybe maybe I can put some buttons on there I actually like it just like it is and then maybe just a black piece of lace to make it into a, a little tag I've 
got this um, punch makes like a little slot you can use that I think that's really nice like so and then just put a piece of lace through there a bit too narrow just gonna try and double it up then I've got four let me see this two yeah and these two maybe that's better what do you guys think um then I want to use some, I think some twine to put around here. Gonna fetch that. These baker's twine, it's got some gold in as well, so maybe that's nice. Put that around the lace make a little bow like with my shoes I'm gonna double lay double knot this for the it won't untangle hopefully oops okay so okay what do you guys think nice and simple feels like it's still well this is yellow now no idea nice and simple got my three elements you see nice and shiny okay maybe I should try to make another one got my deck here this is totally not planned just want to take one out this is uh, just an ordinary one not uh, embossed or anything so the first thing I always do is sand it down Okay, what I'm going to do is also use my black gesso, but I think I want some texture on there. Okay, I got this. I got this at the hardware store. They use it with, uh, I have no idea actually, something I think with the walls or so. I don't know, but I'm going to put this on. Uh, scissors. And get some nice texture. I wonder if this will stick. Like so. Then I want to take some. Got some cheesecloth. I'll take a piece off. Scram it up a bit, and I think I want to put that on there as well. I'm gonna use my tacky glue. Just 
just a bit. Okay. Okay, just going to dry that quickly. Ah, sticking on my fingers. I'm all gluey. Okay, just going to dry that quickly. Okay, just dry it a bit. I don't know if it's really dry, dry. Okay. So take my black gesso, I'm going to bring in my brush again. I'm just going to dry this quickly. And try to dab this. For it has to go in between the little holes. So I'm put a piece of paper underneath there. If there's anything I'm using and you would like to know where to get it or yeah maybe I don't know where you can get it in in the USFA or wherever you are in the world but I can link uh, down below if there's anything you are interested in and maybe you can search for it by name for I think the names would be the same but uh, you can't buy it now you can buy it here if you want to but I don't think you want to for the postage will be so so expensive so okay okay so I put some gesso on the dab gesso on there black ones just dry that again Okay, so that's dry. I don't know if you can see, it's really, really nice and matte. Uh, I think I'm going to use my gilding wax again. I just love that, that look. And this will be really nice on this texture. Put it on here. And on the cheesecloth when you put the gesso on here it's like it's it's not that soft anymore it's like a bit harder and you can just go over it really nicely and nice structure nice feel as well I just love this Do the edges as well Okay, that's really nice, I think. Gives such a nice look to it. You see this? Okay, now I was thinking of using a little button and maybe that on top. And then I've got some thin twine and just gonna. A little bit on here. Have a look. Got four holes. Yes, got it. Okay, now I want to make a little knot. And then maybe a little not a complete bow, just half and just a bit smaller the loop is just, I made the loop a bit smaller so I don't know if I like this maybe I should just leave it like this cut it off mm. Yes, 
that's better. Then I want a piece, and that's, that's too short. I want some more. To put underneath it all. You can rough this edges up, that would be nice as well. Just like so. Okay, just some twine. May just have a look if that's nice. And then maybe like so. Yes, I think I will commit. Just put some tacky glue on there, and uh, maybe some fabric glue. See if that's better. Because this is fabric and this is, I will, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Still struggling with the glue thing. Uh, tacky glue on this, maybe. Double the glue. I hope it will stick. Okay, keep it on there. And then some tacky glue on this one. Uh, maybe I'll take a rivet through that one as well. Okay. Maybe a rivet through there as well. Maybe that will be nice. Just make a hole. Oh, these won't fit. Just all of that. Okay, so I'm sticking them. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That one will do. Uh, okay. Oopsie daisy. Some. This is really small. Okay. And then this one I can put a rivet through. There we go. Okay, really like that. So I've got two, and yeah, I think they're completely different. So that will be it for today. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.